Empiezo yo. Shall I start? La verdad es que, well, as regards how other people perceive me, there's not much of a view that I can really have on that, how I'm perceived. But I, I would recall something that I think is important in the European Parliament context. First of all, I think it's a mistake, it's an error to criticize a progressive European-minded government such as ours by fostering um, fallacious uh, statements uh, perpetrated by the opposition. I mean, this is something that the European People's Party did say. I know that this point was made by Donald Tusk before he was elected Prime Minister of, of Poland, that um, the trouble is people can start thinking in a certain way It's uh, if that's what they keep on being told. President Jean-Michel, on two points. First of all, you were asking about Ukraine and the fact that we could awaken false expectations. I think the very opposite is the case. I think what we've just done is to take decisions which will give people great hope, but they will also make it clear that there is responsibility on both sides, on Ukraine's and Europe's side. And so we now have a twofold duty. Ukraine has a duty to be very committed and continue the work in implementing the necessary reforms in order to ensure that Ukraine is able to join the political area, the space which is based on common values, and the legal space, the legal area which it shares with the European Union. And we have a, a responsibility among the 27 member states. We need to prepare for that time, the time of enlargement. So once again, I am absolutely convinced personally that this enlargement is a choice. It's a choice for the future of Europe, which in the future will need to be more stable, more safe and secure and more prosperous. And for our children, I think it needs to be more stable, more secure, more prosperous with countries who wish to join us within the European Union. And that applies to the Eastern Partnership and the Western Balkan countries too. On, my sec on your second point, I don't have much to add, merely to reiterate self-evident truths. The European project is based on a truth and sovereignty of member states. That's the first point. It's based on trust in the democratic institutions of the member states. And I think it's always uh, regrettable whenever that is in any way called into question. 